Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. And uh, let me share with you something that's going on. We're, I'm, at, uh, I'm at my church, Knox, Indiana, at, um, where we're having the three days of glory. And uh, I thought I'd come down here in the basement and uh, share with you some current world events that's what's going on. Last night, though, I can tell you, we had a packed house with a powerful uh, day. And just what a, what a service. And if you watched it live last night at our website, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The, the, the praise and worship was unbelievable. The special singing was incredible. And the Lord really inspired us to preach a message last night that uh, moved, uh, I feel like, touched our souls. And the Lord really moved. Uh, the altar was lined with folks. And also we baptized four people. Uh, they came in from all across. We had people here last night from nine different states, and this morning uh, more have come in. And we just had breakfast with all of them uh, this morning and fellowship in a meet and greet, which was awesome. So anyway, tonight, don't miss tonight's live broadcast. It begins at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight, live revival service. You can watch it all including all the baptisms tonight, which I think are probably going to be somewhere near 10, 12, I don't know. So uh, you don't want to miss it. It will be powerful. Um, we even had one person saved last night online So during the uh, service. We praise the Lord for that. Let me just say to you, we've had an earthquake. California, California, again, Los Angeles being shaken, and many people were feeling it. Uh, let me give you a report right here. Uh, there was a, first of all, there was an earthquake that hit at 8 p.m. local time last night in Los Angeles, California. That would have been March 28, 2014. The second quake then hit, it was measured at 2.1 on the Richter scale, and it came in a few minutes after the first initial uh, 5.1 earthquake then hit around 9.10. So you had a 3.6 earthquake. At 8 o'clock, a few minutes later, 2.1. And then at 9.10 p.m. local time, Los Angeles, California, was hit with a 5.1 magnitude quake. And it really shook some stuff up. People really felt it. Also, then a fourth earthquake registered at 3.4 about 20 minutes later, according to the U.S. Geological Survey uh, and the earthquake monitoring agencies. So... All of them were right near La Habra, California, a suburb of Los Angeles, California. So this is getting very serious. The last few days, California has been encountering, especially in the Los Angeles area, they have been encountering earthquakes. So the 5.1 was felt by many. And I'm just wondering, what's going on, folks? What's starting to shake loose in L.A.? We're going to continue to watch it, monitor it. There's a lot of other events going on around the world. We're continuing to keep an eye on it. Remember now, we're going into the four blood moon cycle. It starts on Passover, April 15th. But it's also that is also the 188th day earthquake cycle for the eighth time that we've been monitoring since we've been on YouTube. The first one, of course, hitting Concepcion, Chile at 8.8. .8. And then the third one, of course, hitting Japan at 8.9, the devastating one with the tsunami and all these melting down reactors at Fukushima uh, nuclear plant. So uh, this is the eighth time. I'm concerned about Los Angeles, but I'm more concerned about anywhere in the world uh, as we come into this fourth blood, uh, the first of four blood moons and on all high Jewish feast days, especially with the peace uh, agreement, the, the covenant with many that's being worked on and all of the different players involved, whether it be Palestinian President Abbas, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the Pope, uh, Pope Francis from the Vatican, President Barack Obama from America, John Kerry, of course, who's uh, uh, the Secretary of State of America, the, the European Union, Tony Blair's been involved, the Russians are involved, the Arab League is involved, the United Nations are involved. I mean, this thing is getting... Uh, David Cameron of the, of the UK is, is involved in this thing. So it's Jordan uh, with King Abdullah II. So something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And as I've said many times, whatever's going on in the spiritual world, 
many times manifest as in the physical. And uh, when you go to part the land of Israel, uh, you're messing with the covenant of God. And so we've got to see what this may all mean as it in this end time Bible prophecy that's being uh, fulfilled and played out right now. Uh, uh, so praise God. If you're not saved, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. Are you serious? What? Earthquakes in diverse places. This was prophesied to happen in the end times. I'm Pastor Paul Bailey. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll be right back with some more current world events and how it relates to Bible prophecy.